Okay, welcome back. We are recording. Good. Yeah. Okay. We are recording indeed. Let us continue. I think the plan was to, yeah, check out the cafeteria now that it's open and then uh, continue exploring outwards. And uh, I'll eventually talk to him. <laughs> uh, let's see. What were our tasks uh end of day okay that's at the evening yeah sure still plenty of time until that hmm i i guess i should uh, yeah because i can hold two things at once i guess i should always unless this runs out of battery not sure interesting way to hold it Okay. Yeah, I think uh, our next thing we want to level up is one of the skills that will allow us to uh, retry a white check uh, that we've failed before. Yeah. Well, I don't see any battery consumption meter. <laughs> I guess we'll keep... Oh, right. Uh, someone did remind me that... Uh, yeah, I totally forgot the, the the orbit around this guy's head is it's a separate thought. I just failed to click it. Where are you going? The street sign reads fuck the police. Ah, it was street sign. Okay, cool. Already dark. It's only one and a half. Half past one. Okay. Hook. Let's check the sink. I know there's something there. The dishes are drying. The s they smell of chemicals and pine trees. Mm. Uh, there was something. Oh, was it this? I, I guess it might have been. Oh, we have a thought. An aroma of spices. Alcohol. And tomato hangs in the air. Hmm. Probably can't go here. You see a heavy steel door with a prominent dimple lock. It's painted blue. Mm-hmm. Touch the door. Try to push on the door. I wonder where this door leads, or I'll be back door. Mark my words. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like a, a storage system. I, either that or a back door outside. To the backyard, maybe. Through, like, there. Hard to say. Um, let's first... The door stands silent, unmoved Ooh. by your words. We gained a task by ending it. Uh, let's see. Explore the Whirling's secret passages. There are strange doors in the Whirling. No one knows where they lead. Find a way in and see what's hidden in there. In the hostel's cafeteria's forgotten corners. By the way, into the secret passage. Okay. <laughs> That's where they hide the corpses. A Hello. thin man is smoking below an exhaust hood, occasionally sipping from his mug. This must be the Whirling's cook. As so it would seem. Uh, let's see. Gorasi, Cubic. As you step in, he nods toward the table and says something in a completely foreign language. Mm -hmm. The only words you can make out are Garanzi and Kubek. Garanzi and Kubek. Okay, it's definitely not his name. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, please don't call him Garanzi Kubek. Please, <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> okay, logic. Ah, gonna see. Uh, I have some questions to ask, uh, Mr. Quebec. Or Quebec, I'm here on official police business. Or, hello, sir. Got time for a few questions? I mean, this is funny. So, the man puts his cup down and replies something. His left hand drawing arcs in the air. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. 
Do you know what's behind th that door? Points to the blue door. Or you've got some impressive pots there. Sure. Um, I don't think I need anything else. <laughs> Stay masculine. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, let's ask him about the door. Probably won't answer, but... He looks up at you, then looks away quickly, shrugging and muttering something to himself. Mm-hmm, makes sense. Shrugging is an international sign for, no, I don't know what's behind that door. Yes. Uh, you've got some impressive pots there. He smiles and bangs his ladle against each of his pots in turn. <laughs> Fun. It's almost like music, especially with the sounds of assorted dishes boiling and simmering on the stove. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Uh, was there something he looks else? Up, no. Is an okay. international sign for no. I don't know what's behind that door. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need anything else. Then um, stay masculine. <laughs> Can we? The man no. ponders. Oh wait. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod, acknowledging your presence. Hey, my man, Garansi. Money, they call. Yoink. I don't think we can go there. Yeah. I mean, that is a room. But, uh. Oh, I guess you go through here, but it's not open. Sure. Yeah. Okay. We'll be back for that. I'm not sure if it's even, like, a main thing to progress the plot, but it was one of the tasks, so we'll avoid doing it for a while. There's something there in the top left corner. Hmm. Okay, well, the idea was uh, just going left. Uh, I think I want to go down the road to the harbor, but uh, here, let's see what this is. Some great tectonic force has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Hmm. It's the worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Mm -hmm. hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. Uh. Okay, Kim. Does Kim have a motion blur when he's running? I think he does. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's just yeah the bench. Okay. Bonsai looking ass tree. I don't know. <laughs> An ancient fountain. It doesn't pump water anymore. There's a tree in it. Yes, sir. Also, I should have yeah done that. You are the angriest I'm man I know, Rene. Uh, we can go there later. Let's go to the harbor first. Uh, sh. Let's check this quick thing here. Oh, we can go inside. Okay, let's check he back here later. Let me first do outside stuff first. Roy's Pawn Shop. Fast cash for faster times. Oh. Good catch. No Safed. No of it? I don't know. Take all. Health item gained. Okay, good. Fingerless gloves. Plus one to electrochemistry. Nice. I mean, we already have gloves, but which is plus one interfacing. Um, Do we want electrochemistry over interfacing? Uh, I mean, not right now. We don't need drugs right now, but let me see what it says still. Um, <clears throat> uh, fingerless gloves plus one electrochemistry. Cigarette stained fingertips. <laughs> Gasoline stained fingerless gloves in navy blue. They've been worn threadbare, but being made of wool still provides some warmth and comfort. <laughs> nice. He's in competition. <laughs> Okay, 
there are people there. Sure. Boy, maybe. Water lock out of order until Wednesday, 7.15 a.m. Okay. Um, was it mentioned anywhere if there is... Yeah, Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if the game continues, we can use the water lock here in two days. Or a bit under, I guess. My friend Barry is stuck on the other side. Barry. Till Wednesday, I got meat to sell. Wait till Wednesday. Okay. Butter sign down. Can we go over? A crumpled billboard reading Samaran butter soaks in the canal. Mm. Two ugly lines mar the bright countenance of the blonde boy depicted. Blonde boy depicted. Sure. The sign billboard has fallen on the water lock, <clears throat> keeping it open. Mm. Thus out of order. Okay. What is the Samaran butter or visual calculus medium? Attempt to reconstruct what happened here. Ooh. Yeah. What is the Samaran butter? Whatever it is, the boy on the billboard seems very <laughs> happy about it. Mm, sure. Yeah, you can actually read it. Goat milk and butter. The Samaran terrain makes it easier to raise goats than cows. Mm -hmm. And the local goat farmers produce high quality meat and dairy staples that add variety to other nations' diets. Sure, sure. It's an acquired taste. <laughs> sure. Um, can we come back? I assume we can come back to this later because this is a white check here. Uh, let me just see if I have any. Oh, yeah, because I can't check my inventory while I'm in this conversation thing. Let me see if I have anything that up, ups my visual calculus. I don't think I have, but. Yeah, okay. Whew. For a second, I was scared. Uh, plus one physical instrument and. Um. Yeah, nothing here is minus. Okay. A crumpled billboard. The sign billboard has fallen on the water lock, keeping it open mm -hmm. and thus out of order. Yes, sir. Uh, attempt to reconstruct what happened here. Judging hey. by the size of the impact and the parallel lines of burnt rubber, the cause was probably a motor vehicle. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Nice. Interesting that you can do this kind of stuff too. That's fun. Um, look at the crater. Look at the roof of the shack. Look at the sloping metal roof panel. Uh, look at the broken posts. Look at the sign. Look at the opposite bank or blink leave. <laughs> uh, I hope we can choose all of these. Uh, if we can only choose one, which one would be the most useful to look at? Sure, let's look at the roof of the shack. The black marks on the roof indicate that the vehicle vaulted from the crater to the roof of the shack. Mm hmm. Okay, we can do all of them. Look at the crater. Side slip marks indicated that the vehicle was traveling up the crater at 35 kilometers an hour. Hmm. Oh, I like we even have mathematical <laughs> equations or uh, physics equ equations there. Yeah. Uh, look at the sloping metal roof panel. The panel served as a takeoff ramp. Mm hmm. Sure. Look at the broken posts. The vehicle soared through the air hitting the billboard and upsetting the posts. Mm. Then it continued its flight, taking the billboard with it. <laughs> Let's look at the sign. The sign broke the vehicle's fall into the canal. Mm-hmm, yeah. The Samarin butter billboard still looks freshly painted, suggesting it took the plunge recently. Mm. How recently? Within the past 72 hours. Mm-hmm. And our corpse has been there for more than that. Ah, uh, fuck! I don't have any. Uh, I don't have anything with me right now that you remember. Remind me when exactly was that the body died? I, I have a feeling that it was like over a week ago. So this might be unrelated to that, or at least the initial day of the killing. Uh, 
but I'll, I'll go and have a look after this video um, to see exactly when it was that the body was found. Look at the opposite bank. Still speeding, the vehicle made a loop and vanished into the fog along the coast. I turn and then jumped again uh, over to there. Okay, what was the model of this phantom vehicle? <laughs> there are two good candidates. The Caprice 40 and the Linea G22. Caprice 40 and Linea G22. Why the Caprice 40? It's about the right size. Sure. And the tire marks look like they came from the skinny tires frequently found on that motor carriage. Hmm. Tire with a Y. Okay. The Caprice 40 is a very popular model with bank clerks, topping pie delivery drivers, secondary school teachers, cops, strippers dressed as cops, undressed <laughs> strippers. <laughs> so strippers, yeah. <laughs> sure, okay. And uh, why the Linea G22? A very sturdy but light motor carriage. Mm. More likely than most to survive that jump. Mm. Okay, cool. Point of impact billboard, yeah. The Linear G22 is not a particularly popular model due to its peculiar proportions, which the manufacturer's design team probably thought about for too long. <laughs> yeah, Linné, Linné, not Linnea. Okay, yeah. So, what, what now? You'd have to follow the tracks to be sure. Mm, sure, but it's kind of closed off. Uh, sure, Link, let's end our... Mental deduction. The lieutenant looks on, waiting for you to wrap up your analysis. Oh, okay. Conversation for Kim. Do we tell him about our findings? I guess. Any theories about what happened here? Mm -hmm. He gazes down at the sign. It looks like someone was in a real hurry or... Reckless traffic hooliganism. <laughs> I, I, really? I think it's more than that if you manage to go to the roof of some building. <laughs> some top shelf shenanigans. I want to meet the driver and shake his hand. Or I don't care and it's not really our concern. Wow. Uh, yeah, it looks like someone was in a real hurry. What kind of car do you think it was? Um... Uh, this gives us more variety because we deduced so many possible people. So let's just say this. Or, uh, people. Uh, kinds of uh, people who would use it. That's quite likely from what I can tell. Okay. You were able to tell that too. Uh, I have some ideas about who it might have been. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Who could it have been? I'll... Let's let's lie to him. Oh. He raises his eyebrows. It had to be someone really cool and gorge courageous. <laughs> gorgeous? <laughs> courageous, yeah. Uh, it was someone dangerous. Perhaps this is somehow connected to the murder. I mean, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. Actually, never mind. I need more evidence to come up with a list of suspects. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's say the number two. <laughs> the traffic hooliganism. I hope not. <laughs> Fortunately, we are not traffic cops. Should we get back to the murder? <laughs> we should bring this driver to justice. Take the task or <laughs> let's move on. We've all learned. We've learned all we can here. Ooh, does this diverge our actual game plan? If we take the task. Nah, we can handle it. Take the task. <sighs> if we must. Hey, find the traffic hooligan. A half insane joyrider has jumped over the canal. See if you can find evidence of his reckless activity in west on the coast. First, you should find the vehicle the joyrider used in their escapades. Sure. Yes. Nothing. Just checking if you had anything new. The crumpled samurai. Okay. The lieutenant looks up. 
Okay, uh, there was clearly something way over there if we can ev eventually get there. Uh, sure, let's talk to... or let's check this first. A couple of indicator lights are missing from this control panel. Mm -hmm. Loose wires dangle from the now vacant holes. In the middle is a lever. Beneath it, a small metal plaque. Okay. This panel usually closes the water lock, turning mm -hmm. it into a bridge that lets you cross the canal. Mm. But there's a crashed Samaran butter sign in the way. <laughs> Pulling the lever probably won't do anything. Uh, <laughs> pull the lever anyways. Or lever. Let's pull the lever. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then... Then? Nothing happens. Yeah, I feared so. <laughs> yeah, I love the style when it makes you expect something and... Yeah, no, sorry, nothing. <laughs> Push it harder. <laughs> or release the lever, lever. Nothing happens. A cold gust of wind blowing in from the sea interrupts the silence of the situation. <laughs> Basically, tumbleweed at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lieutenant hums to himself, himself while staring at your activities. Push it harder. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, release the lever. The spring brings the lever back to its original position. You yeah. still need to close the water lock to get across the canal. Some other way. Some other way, you say. Okay. Also, interestingly, something is leaking to the water, like either oil or gasoline or some toxic juices. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? Yes, sir. 7.15 or 9.15, I forget. Pull the lever again. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks again. Nothing yeah. happened. A spring bring... Wasn't there a... Yes, there was. Okay, uh, close the water lock on Wednesday. To get to the coast, you need to use the panel to close the water lock. It's been blocked, pending repairs, which should be done by Wednesday morning. This will be open up. This will open up a new area in Martinez. Nice. Barry, can you hear me, buddy? This is outrageous. Uh, Good day to you, officers. Okay. Good day to you, too. A burly man hangs out by the waterlock, carving up a generous serving of salami with an old hunter's knife. Mm. His eyes are fixed on a man stranded on the other side of the waterlock yep. and on an enormous billboard that has fallen down into the canal between them. Yes, yep, 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 yep. Uh, first things first, what are you doing here? Man on the waterlock. <laughs> Man on the waterlock is your new name. Uh, do you know what caused this wreckage point at the smashed billboard in the canal? Uh, yeah, first things first, what are you doing here, man on the waterlock? My friend Barry the Butcher is stuck on the other side of the waterlock. Mm. I'm keeping him company and eating this salami. <laughs> Poor Barry, having to stay there for two days. Okay. From the corner of your eye, you see a man in a yellow shirt and grey overalls mm -hmm. waving at you from across the canal. Sure. He seems disappointed about the wreckage on the waterlock mm -hmm. and the salami. And the salami, the true tragedy. <laughs> Funny. Very good stuff. Anything I can do for you, officer? The man on the waterlock picks the skin off a slice of salami and takes a sizable bite. Uh, can you throw the salami to Barry? He seems quite distraught. <laughs> uh, do you know what caused this wreckage? I mean, we already deduced our thing, but let's see what you come up with. I wasn't here to witness it, but those look like tire tracks on that sign. Mm -hmm. Weird, huh? Mm -hmm. Then again, plenty of daredevil drivers in Rivetal. <clears throat> I guess so it would seem. Too bad it also takes a year and a day to repair anything around here. Mm -hmm. Especially a water lock. The rest of the coast is closed off till then. Oof, yeah. So what's with the lever that lever that does nothing point at the control panel next to him? Or do you know what's further down the coast? Hmm. Or can I have some of that salami point at his food? <laughs> Let's go in order. 
It's supposed to operate the water lock, but as noted, it's all junk right now. Mm. Disabled because of the blockage. Right. Is it disabled because it just doesn't do anything due to the blockage, or did someone turn a switch somewhere making it inoperable? Safety measure. Mm. Turns out the panel needs a special key to be reactivated. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't want anyone moving the water lock with debris still in the channel. Yeah, fair enough. Makes sense. Makes sense. It'll be restarted on Wednesday morning. Mm -hmm. You want to do the honors when the time comes? <laughs> he nods his head while, uh, towards the control panel. <laughs> do I ever? Not enthusiastically. Hell yeah. Uh, we'll see. I'm not all that into manual labor. <laughs> not enthusiastically. Great. Just drop in on Wednesday if you want to see the water lock at work. Mm -hmm. They say the canal crew will be here at 7.15. He cuts a fresh slice from his salami. Yeah, sure. See you then. Um, so, do you know what's uh, further down the coast, though? Well, there's the fishing village, mm -hmm. an abandoned fish market, a bizarro church. Mm. Not much use to the congregation, though. There always seems to be something wrong with it. He thinks for a moment. Okay. Uh... Fishing village, fish mar abandoned fish market, and a bizarro church. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> that That's going to be an interesting area, I guess. Maybe they worship fish there in the church. Yeah, not really much else. Just bombed out ruins. Hmm. Okay. Can I have some of that salami point at his food? Sure thing. Oh, nice. He cuts off a slice of salami. Thank you, my man. It is salty. It is savory. It is chewy. <laughs> the hangover only makes the salami more tasty. <laughs> salami. Nice. Yeah, plus zero HP because we are only at max at one HP. <laughs> Want some too, officer? He turns to the lieutenant. <laughs> I don't think. Why not? Oh, okay. The lieutenant ponders the offer for a moment, then decides go to go for it. He takes a slice off the salami from the man and chews on it. Hey, good for you, Kim. Okay, right, uh, bye. See you on Wednesday morning, I guess. Very cool. Huh? Interesting. <laughs> it just brings out a ring of darkness when I go there and then it opens, yeah. I guess that's the map edge. Okay, cool. Helpline to the company that controls the drawbridge. Sure. Hot air rises from the sewer. Sour, acidic, and strangely comforting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> to us. I let the goods do the talking. I don't think there's anything this way. Delta Logistics Company. Maybe an important name to keep in mind. Maybe not. Maybe just a generic name. Hey, a yellow thing here. Step right up, mister. Plastic wrapped macaronis <laughs> stamped with humanitarian aid. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this is humanitarian aid tuna fish, not for sale. Uh, we are gonna eat it. There are clothes inside. Cheap secondhand clothes smelling of strangers' body odors. Mm, my favorite. Also a crow. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics, best retro design, save the economy with your style, officer. <laughs> okay, uh, we are still recording good here. Uh, ceiling, I guess. Uh, you, my guy, have wonderful glasses. Very disco. Save the economy? That sounds off. No, it doesn't. Shut up. Uh, save the economy? What are you talking about or browse through the box? You know, let's at least hear him out. Haven't you heard, officer? We've got to be economically conscious. Mm -hmm. Recycle your cash, keep it in circulation. <laughs> Don't buy new things. Buy eco. Recycle your cash. I mean, I guess, yeah. <clears throat> this doesn't make any sense. Why exactly does the economy need saving? I mean, you have to keep the money flowing. In circulation. Uh, thanks for the advice. I'll try to be more economically conscious. 
Uh, let's question him, yeah. Look around, officer. You see all these premium goods just mm -hmm. sitting there? Yes, yes, yes. Not getting bored? We've got to keep the flow of goods moving. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't let the market ca crash. Is this really the economy we want <coughs> to leave to our children? <laughs> uh, you're absolutely right. We've got to save mother economy. <laughs> but I don't have children. Uh, I think <laughs> we definitely have some. <laughs> I don't know. It's just nature. Powerful economies expand. Weak economies go extinct. Okay, dude. This economy is really just a distraction from the cultural issues. You know, immigrants and oh, we are taking in the racial theory. No, probably not. I don't think that. Yeah, I don't think that was <laughs> what it was referring to, but sure. Look, man, I just want to buy some clothes. Uh... Let's go to, from the top if we can choose all of these. This is the funniest answer as well. So that's the spirit. <laughs> We've all got to do our part. Your part is to open the box and buy some clothes. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we'll eventually browse through it. Haven't you heard, officer? Oh. We've got to be economically conscious. Mm -hmm. Recycle your cash. Keep it in circulation. Don't buy new things. Buy eco. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to be more economically conscious. Very cool. The economy <laughs> thanks you, officer. I like the line de delivery there. Very cool. Haven't you heard? Look around. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? Mm, but I don't have children, I think. Too bad, officer. <laughs> kids make it all worthwhile. Mm. Without kids, who's going to be around to enjoy the economy? Mm. He. Don't let me stop you. Open the box and browse a little. Mm -hmm. He points at the clothes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Haven't you heard? Look around. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? Mm. It's just nature. Powerful economies expand. Weak economies go extinct. <laughs> I can't go extinct, officer. <laughs> I've got kids to feed. Once an economy goes extinct, it messes up the whole ecosystem. Mm -hmm. You've got to think about the consequences. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Haven't you heard? Look, uh, is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? Yes. This economy is really just a distraction from the cultural issues. You know, immigrants and... And what? <laughs> and genetic atrophy. Ooh. Uh, the socialists in academia. Or, I don't know. And genetic atrophy. Oh. Look, man. I'm not into politics. I like everyone. Mm. Check out the box. Good man. Good man. Haven't you heard? Look, uh, is this really the economy? And what? Uh, those socialists in academia. Oh. Look, man. Sure. Haven't you heard? Look around. Is this really? And what? I, 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 I don't know. That doesn't matter. Mm. All that matters is the box. Check it out, officer. All that matters is the box. Ain't that the truth? Haven't you heard? Look around. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? <sighs> Look, man, I just want to buy some clothes, even though he's been telling me that this whole time. That's good, officer. <laughs> That's exactly what the economy wants you to do. True, true. Okay, let's browse through the box, see if we can buy anything with our almost nine... Uh, clovers. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. Ooh, lovely. The box smells like cat piss <laughs> or like an old person with no money. Mm -hmm. Economical, but also trendy. Look <laughs> first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. <laughs> sure, dude. Uh, composure. Uh... Find something worth salvaging from the pile, from that pile of rags. Okay, let's hope we can do it. Something hey. cold grazes your hand. Ooh. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Windbreaker. Surf, it says, but also wind. Summer, 100% waterproof. Mm. And sport. All in different typefaces. 
damn also we just barely made made it through that's check <laughs> uh yeah seems cool a new piece of clothing for us i guess good or choice officer garment mega sporty and it's only <laughs> 450 for you sir Ooh, i mean this is the only thing i've found that costs money so far so i think we can could plus one composure minus one shivers Where is Shivers again? There. And Composure is... I mean, it's already very high, but it could go even higher. Hmm. Tune into the city. Ah, it sucks to lower that, but uh... Since this is these two are our least optimal skill sets i think we'll go with purchasing this and uh maybe putting it on over our current thing sure dynamic windbreaker surf gotta prepare for springtime right <laughs> right and the street vendor seems pleased well there we go and we're down money again <laughs> oh a red thing Auto save. Thank you, game. Uh, so our current jacket gives us one, plus one esprit decor. Yeah, I don't really need the cop culture. I don't think. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get plus one composure because we're gonna go interrogate more people. Might be useful. Very cool. Very sleek. <laughs> uh, dynamic windbreaker surf. Uh, keep your cool and weatherproof. This nylon, nylon wind cheater is so dynamic. It wraps around you like a membrane. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Living clothes? Living clothes type of armor deal? <laughs> no. Equipped with a stowable hood. The backside of the garment is covered in sport and summer related text. It swishes softly as you walk. Very cool. How do I look, Kim? Yes. Nothing. Okay, we have a thought. It's clear you like the hard stuff, brother. Brother? What the hell? Endurance? <laughs> the what? Uh, sounds like my stomach is growling. Or what is my lower intestine going on about? Discard thought? No. Uh, oh, I guess we need to take a shit or something. Uh, yeah. Probably upset stomach after equipping this or I don't know probably from eating the salami the what sounds like my stomach my stomach is growling growling evening falls the time has come to take the vow the vows the vows of blood and flesh <laughs> the vows of blood and flesh what the hell <laughs> what is my lower intestine going on about lower intestine yeah, yeah, yeah. The term is metabolic and circulatory system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, food or I either go eat or go take a shit. Uh, okay, but what's the hard stuff? Fascism, Brota. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> what is fascism, though? Or okay, stomach. I've made up my mind about fascism. Proceed to the judgment. What do you mean? Hello? Uh, uh, let's question it. I, I assume we can do this and then this. Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Rivershaw's problems? Mostly. Uh, f foreigners? Financiers? Leftist academians? Uh, liberals? Uh, I, I thought you were my circulatory system. <laughs> <laughs> we have finally fully entered into our uh, racist era, so uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, foreigners, clearly. Yes, them, but also... But also... Women. Ah, oh, yes, women. What the hell? <laughs> Very funny. Women, men of war, you ah. don't like them. They're insane. 
Mm -hmm. The idiocy needs to be scrubbed off this world with rubbing alcohol. Woo men need to go back to the fucking kitchen. I see. Yes, yes, yes. We are a wonderful person. <laughs> That's what fascism boils down to. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that woo men need to know their place. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Many things. Financiers? Yes, them. But also worm. Okay. Worm. That's what many things. But yes, worm. Worm. That's what many things. Yes, worm. Worm. That's oh. stomach truth. You're having a stomach truth. Yes. Yeah, I accidentally pressed that. Am I having some kind of stomach seizure? Stomach truth. <laughs> yeah. Many things, but it's mostly about trusting your gut. Mm -hmm. Who does your gut tell you is the source of Revachol's problems? I, I thought you were my circulatory system. Quit stalling, Bruta. <laughs> we're talking about the weakest, worst, most insane thing. The weak link. Okay. Yes, we're, we're That's what fascism boils down to. Mm -hmm. The rest is also important. But the main thing is that women need to know their place. Wow. Okay. Why am I getting this? Because you've said the hard things that others won't say. Mm. The good things. You've said them many times. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Fascism, fascism sounds so bad, though. What if we called it something else? Like, uh, traditionalism. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Just start using a different word. Uh, yeah, that makes it all the better. It's it's not the bad thing, the fascism, it's uh, traditionalism. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, <laughs> let's call it that. Good thinking. Very good thinking. We are very smart. That sounds much better. Traditionalism. You like the sound of that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, stomach. I've made up my mind about fascism. fascism. Proceed to the judgment. You're going to keep your views, right? Keep uh, your views, Brota. I will keep my views for the glory of the Revacholian nation. Opt in or absolutely not. I'm not going to be played by an upset stomach. Opt out. <laughs> uh, opt in. For the nation, smart. Best not to mention the women too often. That's why you're the head and I am the stomach. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thought gained. Revacholian nationhood. Revacholian nationhood. Temporary research bonus. Minus one composure, yeah. Temporary. It's only temporary, so. Yeah. We get our drama back when this is done. <clears throat> uh, minus one composure. Haggard nationalist. Research time nine hours. Nine hours and ten minutes. Okay. They fucked this place. Revachol is in ruins. The Koichkos and the Kipts and the Armators with their desert pygmy magic spinning tops. They fucked it. Oranjis and Oranjis liberals and Vespertine moneylender, moneylenders too. They're all socialists, especially the women and the Kipts. You have only a vague idea of what this means. But it's clear that a good, strong state must be erected upon the ruins. If any of any of us are to have a future, the shadowy outlines of this state start forming every time you close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Right, I, I think I forgot I should have tested uh, if I can do two internalizing at the same time. I mean, I'm not too far into this. Sure, let me see if I can do it at the same time. It's giving us minus two to logic, though. Let's put minus one to composure because we just gained one. Okay, we can do it at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. So that's going to be going on for a while. Do we want minus two to logic at, uh, right now, though? It is one of our highest skills, though, so... What was our empathy? 
one. <laughs> um, sure, you know what? Sure. Oh, we can only internalize two at the same time. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. For the nation, smart. <laughs> Best not to mention the woman too often. That's why you're the head and I am the stomach. No, fascism is about industry and politics and nationhood, not women. I'm absolutely okay with women. Or pat your stomach, finish the thought. Uh, sh yeah. Of course you are, Bruta. Of course. <laughs> A wink-shaped growl <laughs> sounds from your ass. <laughs> Very fitting to call it from ass. Pat your stomach, finish thought. Wow. What a discussion. Do we get anything new from here now? No. This says, speakers from the people of Samara. Here. You see two lowly, defeated speakers. Mm -hmm. Thralls. Slaves, basically. Perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. Mm. A pair of found, durable wear sneakers. Ultra series. Ultra series? Ooh. I can see you were tasteful luxury officer. <laughs> Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers? Yeah, I mean, let's inspect the sneakers or inspect the speakers. A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. Mm -hmm. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway, a jet black upper, and a silver lined midsole. Mm. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. That is a bit too much. I don't think we can afford it, but uh. Only? That's madness. Yeah, so cheap. What a steal. Found Ultra. We're the future. You remember the slogan from some magazine? Mm hmm. Locked 50 rail. Real. I need those Fallon sneakers. It's locked currently. <laughs> uh, plus one reaction speed, plus one hand eye coordination, minus one encyclopedia. Oof. Inspect the speakers. These once respectable speakers have been conquered, reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable Fallon Ultras. <laughs> Atop them. Okay. A small heat emboss on the veneer reads. Solidarity aid from the People's Republic of Samara. Mm. The speakers themselves don't seem to display any magical qualities. Magical qualities, you say? Perception sight. No, no, don't look at the speakers, <laughs> officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers are the stars here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very fun, very, very fun uh, wordplay with the uh, sneaker speakers. Uh, but I already looked at the sneakers. Or what about the speakers, though? Doesn't anyone want those speakers? <laughs> Poor little speakers. Pat them. <laughs> Man, this game has such good humor. But I already looked at those sne at the sneakers. Then look at them again. These are <laughs> the premium lifestyle sneakers, officer. The best on the market. These ones a small. No, no, don't. What about the speakers, the speakers, though? Does anyone officer? want those speakers? These officer, these speakers are Samaran garbage. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed to even use them for props. <laughs> Don't waste your time on them. I'm going to pat them. Samaran trash. That sounds like they're from the Samaran People's Republic, mm -hmm. produced under the dictatorship of the proletariat. Mm. These ones is no, no. Don't look. No, don't pity them, officer. <laughs> these are old Samaran garbage. Don't even look at them. Check out these super cool, fun ultras instead. I'm looking at both of them, my man. Samaran trash. Can that I just buy the sad, Samaran conquered Samaran speakers? Republic. No way, officer. These aren't for sale. <laughs> They're bad speakers. Low fi socialist junk. But I need some speakers. Uh, that's what I want. That's why I want them. I think I might be lo-fi socialist junk myself. <laughs> or, you're right, I don't have time for junk. I lead a luxury life. Uh, but I need some speakers. Well, if you want them... Mm, he pauses for a moment, calculating. But see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. Mm -hmm. If I let go of the speakers, 
where will the sneakers go? Mm-hmm. I can't leave premium lifestyle sneakers on the ground. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. You have a cardboard box there on top of them, maybe. If, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. Ooh. 50 cents? Sure. Damn. So you have to buy the sneakers first. So it would seem. Ah, it still does only. It didn't increase the price. Sad. No way, officer. <laughs> These are no officer. You're a high class policeman who accepts nothing less than the best. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you. I've got the best on sale. You do, huh? You don't know what I am. I don't even know myself. Horse. I want the speakers. <laughs> Wait, what if I do deserve more than a lo-fi socialist sound system? Mm. I want the speakers, though. Well, if you want okay. them, but see, they are the pen yeah, yeah. on the other. Damn, so you have... No way of... No, officer. You're a hike. You do, officer. You do. Remember, we don't have to resort to socialism. Mm. We can have nice things, too. And socialist prices. <laughs> He pats the boxes tenderly, sure. No way, officer! You're the right, I don't have the time for scale. junk. I lead a luxury yes. life. That's right, officer. You're a high-class policeman who accepts nothing less than the best. Mm -hmm. Lucky for you, I've got the best on sale. Eventually we'll get them. Okay. Uh, hey. Psst. Rhetoric, hey. Uh, he hello. Who, who, look around. Who? who? Me? Uh, let's, let's be... Uh, Suspicious and look around. Psst. Hey, you. Who? M me? Yes, you. <laughs> Word on the street is you're ready to start building communism again. Yeah, kinda. Uh, uh, again? <laughs> yeah, that is a. What do you mean again? How come there is a word on the street? I <laughs> get the fuck out of here. No. Finished thought. Yeah. Uh, again? Yes, you're ready to start building communism again. Mm. You've built it before. They've built it before. Mm. We've built Hasn't it before. Hasn't really worked out yet. But neither has love. <laughs> Should we just stop building love too? <sighs> Can't argue with that. Or yes, we should all stop building love. Love has worked out well for me, really well for me. I am a love. I'm a love winner. <laughs> mm. These conversations, they, they, they just, they just go into every direction imaginable. Like, I love it. Can't argue with that, I guess. So, what about <clears throat> all that communism you've promised to build? Mm. Word on the street is, you've woken up from a thousand years of slumber, promising to erect a version of communism, many times greater than any attempted before. Is that true? It probably is. Uh, how come there is a word on the street? You keep saying things like, down with the bourgeoisie, <laughs> eat the rich, sodomize the landowners, impel all people who have more than 25 wow. rich in their pockets, <laughs> literally murder all human beings, regardless of their political beliefs. That kind of stuff. Yeah, that last line sounds like me. Yeah, fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what an interesting person we are, if we can trust Right, out our own rhetoric. Uh, oh, right, that does sound like me. I haven't said anything like that. Or I've said some mildly left-wing things, but none of those. Uh, that does sound like me. Funky style. Very funky. <laughs> Very funky. So tell me, do you have any questions before we fire up the big <clears throat> communism builder? Or do we get right down to it? Wait, first, what's this communism uh, even about or roll up your sleeves and start building communism opt-in we're gonna opt into everything and uh because we're not gonna specialize in any any right thing uh everything is gonna come burn, burning down on us eventually or it's too tiring i don't have it in me i'm bait down and broken opt out hmm. wait first what's this communism even about failure it's about failure hmm Failure. I, I don't do failure. We are nothing but failure incarnate. So, uh, failure? Yes. Abject failure. 
Total, irreversible defeat on all fronts. Mm. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped and pissed on. Until you came mm -hmm. along, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. We are the chosen one. I am him. You alone, against every living thing, against every human alive. 800 trillion real in the hands of an impossibly well-organized ruling class. Mm -hmm. Towering city blocks of bankmen who have the ears of prime ministers. Million-headed armies of nations and the love of your own mother. Ooh, you had me. You had me there. Yeah, own mother's love. Yeah. You against the atom, the <laughs> charm and the spin. Where the whole world failed. Matter failed to bend to human will. Human will fail to get out of bed and tie its laces. You alone, single-handedly, will rebuild the dreams of the working class. You are the last communist. That sounds like a horrible movie title. <laughs> we are the last communist. We are him. Him is we. Now get to work, comrade. Yes, sir. Uh, was there something Failure. else? I don't it's about failure. I don't do failure. Of course you do. <laughs> you are failure. Yes. You are communism. Mm -hmm. Absolutely vanquished, beaten, curb stomped, shat on. <laughs> While everyone else is out partying, having a callous laugh, you will reverse the fortune of the workers of the world. Yes, sir. You alone, against every living, yeah. you now get to okay. work. Was there something Thank else you. here? Yes, you no. will. You now get okay. to work, comrade. Comrade. Well, roll up your sleeves and start building communism. We are opting in. Oh, yeah. Get <clears throat> the firing squads and the animal wagons ready. The animal wagons? I'm so sorry, Kim, that you have to go along with us. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Firing squads? You didn't say anything about those. Or roll up your sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. Finish that. Uh, firing squads. Too late to back out now. Uh, true. You can't make an omelette without breaking a few million eggs. <laughs> Genocide, here we come. Uh, okay, roll up your sleeves up further and breathe in the pristine air. Uh, <laughs> thought gained. Uh, Mazovian... Social economics. Uh, yeah. Uh, temporary reset minus two visual calculus. Looks like reaction. Mm. People think communism was some crazy idea that had its comeuppance 40 years ago. A fever that shook the world never to return again. They were right. Until he woke up today. A spiritual corpse responsive only to the call of the Commodore Red, prostitutes and Krasnazov. For him, communism is still a thing. He will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the oceanic trench where it has been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He is the big Communism builder, come witness his attempt to rebuild communism in the year 51. Oh boy. <laughs> Crazy. What the hell even is this game? Guaranteed to find something interesting. This says food gifted, uh, food gift from the people of Messina. Okay. There's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box. Mm -hmm. A variety of shapes and colors. Variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? I love them. I've got the latest styles <clears throat> right here. Sure. Uh, the vendor takes a pair of sunglasses and sticks them under your nose. Uh, try the shades on or rummage through the box. I hope we can buy his sunglasses. Try the shades on. Abort. These are hideous. Shut What's up. more? They don't even fit your face. You can <laughs> feel them pinching your nose and chafing against your brow. Oof. Damn, officer. You look like a mega secret spy. <laughs> Very secret. Very. They're practically made for you. I'll let you have them for 
two real and fifty cents. Oh, what a steal! It's going to be very difficult for anyone to take you seriously with these things on your face. I love it. No, you are definitely not buying those. <laughs> the lieutenant gently removes the glasses from your face, setting you free again. Don't tell me what to do, Kim. I like those sunglasses, sir. You're right, I'm too sensible for those. But I like them. No, I can't. We can't walk around with you looking like this. <laughs> okay, fine. Go ahead. If you want to look like a walking midlife crisis, then who am I to interfere? What do you mean we already look like that? <laughs> uh, rummage through the box or cost... Plus one electrochemistry, minus one logic. Mm. Shades, shades of self-destruction. <laughs> Rummage through the box first. These are all boring. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Syrahese plastic. The kind of plastic that melts <laughs> in the sun. Oof. Those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything... These lenses probably direct more UV light into your pupils. Wow. A UV magnifier. Lovely. These are all first rate sunglasses. <laughs> Premium design, super material, very cool. Ooh, you, you got me there. Distant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool while doing your dangerous police work. You got me there. You have my interest. Conceptualization, formidable 13. Try again. Maybe you can find some interesting sunglasses in the box. Ah, uh, sure. Nice. Ah, I see. A pair of water blue shades. Uh, the writing on the left temple says, sub insulindic rendezvous. The frame appears to be hand cur carved out of bone. Out of bone, will you say? What the hell? Oh, very interesting choice, officer. Very high culture. Mm -hmm. For the first time, the street vendor's voice trails off as he watches you inspect the glasses. Let's try them on. This is how a sea monster sees the world. <laughs> You've become a sea monster. Giant, hidden and strangely tender at heart. All is blue. The old blue is real. All right, but these actually make your vision worse. It's mm -hmm. like literally being underwater. Lovely. Continue. Wow, officer. <laughs> you look so cool. Thank you. The street vendor has picked up his pace again as you observe the world through deep, sea tinted lenses. And they can be yours for a mere three real. Ooh. My regular customers have passed them all up because they've got no taste. But you found them. Mm, we are special. We are the chosen one. We managed to find the true treasure among the trash. Kim, what about these? The lieutenant tilts his head and steps back, eyes narrowed in a thorough examination. It's a case to him. <laughs> you look like a musician, like a blind musician, but you could do worse. Take them if you want. Ooh, I'll take those ugly glasses or I'll take those cool deep blue glasses. Minus one perception plus one inland empire. I mean, uh, I don't know if I want to use either of them because they lower my vital stats. I, I guess I'll take the more expensive ones and which would leave me more broke. A man who knows his style. <laughs> Much respect. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's put them on. Sea monster's vision. Sea monster's soul. The truth is, you can't really see well, very well through the darkened specks. But you feel truly tender in this newly found deep sea plane. Two blue tinted lenses sit in a bone carved frame like they've always belonged there. Lovely. Did things actually become more blue? I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, hard to say. 
you see a Samaran street vendor mm -hmm. surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. <laughs> the name Sileng is embroidered over <laughs> his breast pocket. Yeah, I, I realize that maybe I should have talked to him first before examining any of his goods, but we, we did it this way. Happy shopping, officer! <laughs> Everything's cool here! He gives you a thumbs up. Hey, what's so cool? Everything's cool! True. The goods are cool, the customers are cool, the place is cool. And one more thing, officer. We are cool. You're very cool. Nice. Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> he makes both hands into finger pistols and fires a few finger bullets into the air. You feel a twitch in your index fingers. There's a finger shootout a brewing. <laughs> Whip him out, or no, it's a safety hazard. Whip him out. <laughs> we have an animation for that. Don't shoot, officer. Have we got an arrest here or just a shakedown? <laughs> a shakedown. An arrest. We're here to rob you blind. A shakedown. Good one, officer. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Now, what can I do for you? He nods toward his shabby wares. Ah, j just kidding. I'm here to shake you down for some answers to official police questions. Then fire away, officer. Ooh. Okay. What kind of stuff are you selling here? Uh, the food packages you're selling have humanitarian aid written on them. How come? Where are you from, Silang? Uh, or rhetoric? Hmm. Persuade him to give you some money. <laughs> sure. Uh, what kind of stuff are you selling here? Only the coolest goods in Revashol. Mm. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Nice. On right here. No shame, only freedom. Only freedom? Well, we have to go with for now. Now then. Um, where do you get you? Where, where do you get those comfy pants? Or do you have a permit to sell all that? Or is there a discount for cool officers like me? Uh, that's all right then. Let me ask you something. Uh, where did you get those comfy pants? I'm an entrepreneur, officer. Mm -hmm. I've got sources, buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, <laughs> wholesalers. All extremely cool and above board. And above board. Yes, 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 yes. I'm an entrepreneur, officer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've got sources, buyers, You have a permit to sell all that. Good joke, officer! And <laughs> 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 we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. <laughs> he takes a deep breath. I love that uh, laugh from him. You glance around the decrepit buildings, the miserable weather, the sidewalk strewn with sunflower seeds and the dust-choked air. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. Kim, is it true he doesn't need a permit to sell? Or sweet, no permits means less work for me. Let's move on. Or, uh, yeah, Kim, is it this true? It is, yes. Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. Very cool. That's right. No permits, no bureaucracy. Mm. That's why this city and its law officials are so cool. <laughs> Wait, but what are we what are we doing here? If there are no permits. Look at Kim and the police insignia on his sleeve. Okay, no permits then. Cool. <laughs> Let's look at if Kim. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here to protect the interests of property holders. I am not, however. Hmm. My man officer, you make all this possible. Without you. This climate would be extremely bad for business. Mm -hmm. You're part of the Gossamer state. Gossamer state. Gossamer is a fine filmy substance consisting of cobwebs spun by small spiders. Mm. Seen especially in autumn. It's safe to say he's referring to the near absence of regulations. Mm, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Uh, Gossamer state? <laughs> You're right. This is cool. I'm part of a hip, thin... Almost non-existent state apparatus. Wow. But it is kind of true. So, 
cool guys protect the businessmen while everyone else lives in the ruins? I can think of cooler things. Mm. But you're a foreigner. I'm protecting the business interests of foreign nations. Uh, then I'm protecting a state lawlessness. I'm not an officer of law. I'm an officer of common anarchy. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, no permit. Cool. Uh, let's uh, say the first one. Yeah, that's the main <clears throat> thing about you. Mm. Freedom is great. It's what lets independent entrepreneurs like me sell quality goods at competitive prices. Mm. I'm an entrepreneur of his goods. You clock? It's beautiful. Beautiful. It is, yes. That's right. If you want it, my gossamer is a fine, filmy substance consisting yeah. of cobwebs. Spun Second by one. Small yeah. Cool ruins. Mm. I get to sell quality goods like these by cutting out the middlemen. You don't have to rebuild your house, live in a crater, or in a tree. Where <laughs> can you do that? Only here. He points to a tree. Ah. Uh... Maybe not the best reference, uh, considering there is literally a dead body hanging from a tree. You're pretty sure you can live in a tree elsewhere too. Mm. But he wouldn't believe it anyway. <laughs> you glow. It's it is. That's right. If you want it, my gossamer is a fine filmy Third substance. One. Yeah, Ravishov's the coolest. Doesn't care about where you're from, mm -hmm. who you are. It's all about freedom. He nods admiringly. Well, I mean, there is a certain advanced race theorist uh, up there who would probably disagree or at least look down upon at you. Okay. Uh. You glob. That's if you want my gossamer is a fine film. Yeah, that's the main thing about you. Freedom is great. It's what lets independent entrepreneurs like mm -hmm. me sell quality goods at competitive prices. Sure. Good. You, it's, it is, yeah. That's if you want it. My customer is Oh, it's okay, no permit then. Cool. Hyper cool. <laughs> he nods solemnly, then breathes out a sigh of pride surveying the city around him. He loves this place. Good joke. You glance her. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. True. Sweet. No permits means less work for me then. Let's move on now. It is. That's right. No oh, permits. Okay. No bureaucracy. If you want it, my There's something else. Is a no, fine. okay. Hype anything for you. That's all right then. Let me ask you something different. No, ow. Uh, Only the coolest goods in Revashol. Yeah. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Yeah. Right, well, good. You glance. It's beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> freedom. Sweet. No permits means less work for me. Let's move on. That's right. Mm. Revachol is the best place for an independent self-employer <laughs> like myself. That's why it's so cool with all the models coming here and cool celebrities. Mm. He smiles his bright toothpaste ad smile. Dude, okay. Is there a discount for cool officers like me? No need for discounts at ceilings, officer. <laughs> Everything's already on sale. Anything you want, 50% off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Surely they were double the price of what you're selling them currently at originally, surely. But did he first mark them up 100% mm. just so that he could put them on sale? Yeah, <laughs> classic marketing strategy. Uh, are those things really on sale or did you just jack up the price first? My man, you know how the game is played. <laughs> you and me, we should work together. What do you think? Shake things up? <laughs> he winks, yeah. No, but did he no first use prying. Them? Yes, it's a business secret. <laughs> Let him keep it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Very big secret. Anything for you. Uh, what's this? Oh, finger pistols, right, right. Uh, I'll read it in a bit when we're done with this convo. Um, the food packages you're selling have humanitarian aid written on them. How come? You mean these delicious <coughs> pre-packaged shelf-stable meal kits? Really easy to cook, no hassle, really cheap too. Buy some, try them out. Mm. No hassle, 
There's a little of a hassle here, it appears. A moral hassle. Ah, it's fine. Uh, doesn't that beat the idea of humanitarian aid? It's supposed to be free. So that's what makes it humanitarian. Or, I think one said, not for resale on the packaging. <laughs> Don't play games with me here, hawker. What's going on? Okay, well, if they're delicious, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, first one. It is practically free. <laughs> Yours for five cents a piece. Rock that tuna. Why not some macaroni too? Mm. <laughs> I think one said not for resale on the packaging. No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers. An extremely reputable guy. Yes, 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 yes. I believe you. Wait. Humanex. Humanitarian aid. Uh-huh. Reaction speed. Does your supplier drive that Humanox lorry over there? Point at the lorry with the big Humanox sign on it. And who is your... Yeah. Yes, let's ask this one. What? <laughs> the street vendor looks over his left shoulder and stares at the lorry. As though he's never seen a lorry in his entire life. <laughs> a convincing performance. Bravo. Yes, very much. Look, officer. I'm just a retailer. You mm -hmm. have to talk to my supplier if you got questions about the supply chain. That's how the game works. True. Can't fault you there. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, Kim. Uh... You mean... No hassle. There's a little of a hassle here, it appears. A moral hassle. Mm. Don't play games with me, hawker. What's going on? No problem here, officer. I get all... Wait. Human and who is your supplier exactly? Oh, he's a good guy. I think you'd get along. Mm. I'll let you know the next time he's around. Sure, thank you. <laughs> interesting. Interesting that Kim says interesting. You no hassle. Okay, well, There's if they're delicious, it's okay. Here. They're very delicious. <laughs> and shelf-stable. You can keep all this out in the sun come summer. Try it. Buy some tuna. Won't rot. Unrotable. Unrotable. <laughs> Where are you actually from, Silang? Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. <laughs> all Revachal. All Revachal. This man probably comes from Seagai, sometimes known as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samara Isola. Mm hmm. Okay. You're from the Apricot Cicerante, right? <laughs> or, but you're not a local, are you? Better not to mention. Sounds good. Let's get back to business. Apricot Cicerante calls to mind an era when the Sea Guy Archipelago was colonized by Revachol. Mm. It's a bit of a slur, in other words. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say that you're from, uh, pronounce it very painstakingly, Sea Guy. Very cool. I admire your awareness of our intertwined histories. It's super nice of you to apologize for colonialism. <laughs> but the apricot suzerainty is a shithole. That's why I left. Right. But isn't it only a shithole because of Revachol? Hmm. Good question. Uh, you're welcome. I do try to be supportive of other people and conscious <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> no, we're not. I don't know why I'm talking about this. It's some kind of mind reaction. Point to your head. <laughs> uh, because of River Show. If you say so, officer. Mm. I don't worry too much about <coughs> politics. I'm an Fair. entrepreneur, you know. Whatever is good for business is good for me. You know, I have to admire your your enthusiasm, I guess. Me? This man probably comes from C the Lieutenant Apricot Suzerainty. Don't forget, let him answer. Era. That's right, officer. But it's a bad scene for business there. Mm. Too many regulations. Extremely bad for an independent local entrepreneur. Sure. Hey, why not support this local entrepreneur? <laughs> you can start by buying a pair of sexy pants. Lovely. Or cool sunglasses. Maybe some macaroni? I love me some macaroni. Me? This man. Is there something else here? Apricot Susan. Very yep. cool. I admire your awareness of our intertwined history. Mm -hmm. 
It's super nice of you to apologize for colonialism. <laughs> but the apricot suzerainty is a shithole. That's why I left. That's why you left. Uh, you're welcome. I do try to be supportive of other peoples and cultures. <laughs> he lies as easily as he breathes. That's so cool, officer. Speaking of, why not support an independent local entrepreneur? Mm. By buying some paints and glasses. Sure. Me? This man, the lieutenant, apricot soup. Very cool. Yeah, the last one. I, no, no, it's very cool, officer. Mm. You're a cool cop for caring about those things. <laughs> you should buy cool glasses, too. <laughs> sure. Me? This man um. probably comes from Sea Guy, sometimes known as the apricot suzerainty. Yeah. An archipelago in the Samaran Isola. But you're not a local, are you? Very sharp, officer. <clears throat> I'm Serais from the Sigai province of the Serais Empire. The apricot suzerainty, you know? Mm hmm. Apricot suzerainty calls to mind an era when the Sigai archipelago was colonized by Revachol. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a slur, in other words. In other words, yeah. Wins. Is it that name kind of. <sighs> Insensitive? <laughs> Yum, apricots are delicious. <laughs> Man, this apricots business sounds complicated all of a sudden. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's try to be empathetic for a bit. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I admire your awareness of our intertwined okay. histories. It's no, no, it's very me. This man probably comes from sea. Very apricot suzerainty. Apricots are delicious. Yeah. The apricot suzerainty is what the Sea Guy Archipelago <laughs> is commonly known as in Revachol. It's a bit of a fraud term, I'm sure you understand. Yeah, 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 sorry. Uh, had to had to throw in the occasional joke. No, no, apricots come from Sea Guy. Do they My now? My grandma used to grow them, but Sea Guy is a shithole. That's why I came to Revachol. Here's much better for an independent entrepreneur. Less laws. Mm-hmm. Sure. Speaking of... Me? This man probably comes very apricot suzerainty calls to mind. And Sounds complicated. Oh! Oh no! It's mm -hmm. very simple actually. Sea guy is a shithole. Not good for independent entrepreneurs like this mm -hmm. one here. That's why I came to Revachol. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, I li I, like I said before, I like your attitude. Speaking of me. This man probably comes Better from not to mention. Sometimes no. Sounds good. Let's get back to business then. Very cool. Okay. I like your style, officer. <clears throat> okay, let's try our rhetoric challenging 12. Persuade him to give you some money. Plus one, humanitarian aid, macaronis. Minus one, poor underprivileged grandma. <laughs> uh... Start with Ooh. a little compliment. Then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember. Sure, let's see if we can get money out of the scammer. Uh, hey, you seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local police force? You know, we keep you, your business afloat and uh, you keep us happy. Oh, okay. But why, officer? <laughs> Think of it as an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? Mm. It's an investment in me, a highly experimental human being. <laughs> Funny. My risk-reward risk ratio is insane. Yeah, if we deliver, we deliver high, but more likely we will just fail. <laughs> I'm not Gonna confiscate this humanitarian aid that you're reselling. Hmm, good idea. I'm a policeman. It's an investment in good relations with the RCM. Or it's an investment in your customer base. Gotta prime the pump, man. Mm hmm. Uh, let's go with the first one for sure. I guess it can't be any riskier than speculating in exotic derivatives. How much are we talking about here? Five real, ten real, one million real. I mean, obviously we can't get that much. Let's try our luck with ten real. Ten real is a bargain for that kind of investment. You got it, my man. Nice. We got basically items for free and a bit more money. Uh, 
Cool. Nice. I'll look around. Thanks. Damn. That went well. And auto saved. Okay. Let's read off the finger pistols and then leave it off here. Uh, temporary reason. Minus one. Savoirfare. Snapping doesn't help. <laughs> you were promised a gun. That much is certain. This is why you became a cop. Yet here you are, loitering around with idle hands like some sorry ass loser from the street. Suddenly, you're supposed to be solving cases by... what? Like, talking to people? <laughs> How are they going to believe that you can protect yourself and them from savages without a firearm? This ain't right. You need to think around this problem. And you need to snap your fingers at people as you do. <laughs> Phew. Nice. We're almost done with this too. That's gonna be in the next video. Sure. Nice. Cool. Well, this was an interesting part. I, I like getting to know these people and uh, their situations here. Yeah, very curious. Uh, since... Hmm. I wonder... If, if, is there like a time limit or period this game takes place during? Because obviously we can go up until Wednesday because this opens on Wednesday and probably beyond that. But is there like a one week or two week time limit system or can we go in definitely? Hmm. Astonishing quality, unbelievable prices. True. Yeah. I guess we'll see next time. But uh. Uh, in the next video, we'll check out inside here and then move towards the uh, harbor or the other northern, eastern, uh, sorry, northern slash western area there. Yeah, cool. Uh, wrong place. I save from here, even though it uh, auto saved. Just save. There we go. <clears throat> cool. Okay. Uh, Patreon, Alexis, up to two weeks. Link down in the description. Cool. See ya.